You know, I would never encourage someone to provide all the answers because first of all, that's narcissistic and you know, they're, they don't have all the answers. And, <laughs> and it's like the extremes here. Like you acknowledge sort of like, you know, the extreme of asking all the questions, probably not true. The other extreme of providing all the answers is probably is not true. Yeah. It's narcissistic to say, I have all the answers. And if you don't provide oxygen for others to be part of the conversation, then you create dependency. The way I would think about this would be that someone can provide answers, but providing the contact within which you're stimulating further questions and answers in the other party. Because a conversation is both parties going back and forth, and I would say in a balanced manner, questions and answers. And as a, as a leader, if I'm just providing the answers, that's a monologue, that's not a conversation. So as a leader, it's about, again, sort of uh, direction and growth. If I'm providing answers, is it stimulating the other party to a higher level? So. The last point I'll make unsolicited is that, you know, AQ becomes a framework to have these back and forth conversations that are effective. But I will also assert, particularly leaders within a company or anyone that has business acumen, I think can benefit from AQ because, you know, it's saying that you have something to add to the conversation in terms of questions, but also answers. Answers are more difficult than questions, as is, 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 is I would assert, and that might be controversial, but like I could ask, you know, what's the meaning of life? You know, what do you want to be when you grow up? These are difficult coaching questions, but um, the answers to those are much more challenging. So mm -hmm. it, it, it for, for someone that has business acumen and experience, and a lot of the coaches we talk to, they, they have a lot of experience, they like AQ, is it gives them per permission to join the conversation and be unencumbered about you know, is it asking or answering, but more focused on about movement and growth of the coachee and then answering questions become a, a tool to do that. I loved what you said about elevating to a new level. So a great answer will elevate to a new level. So now if we've got this conversation going between two intelligent beings, the answers can build on each other. And now we're in the space of co-creation where yes, you don't have to be the smartest in the room, but together you can make one and one uh, equal three if you're actually listening to each other and your answers are building on each other. Here's a technique, a little tip you can provide is that if someone has, let's say an entrenched idea that you wanna move, let's say that I tell a story. And if you wanna move me off that story, the best thing often to do is not to question that story directly or to provide another story that's counter it. You know, think how, you know, that, that can be- mm, That's not gonna go it, well. Yeah. It, it's yeah. shouting louder. So what mm -hmm. you wanna do is go to a different question and answer type to begin to dislodge that. So you might say, it's an interesting story, Brian, but let's talk about the key concept in that story. It seems to be about culture. Isn't that true? And then you start to talk about it. And I may say, no, it's not about culture. So now we know where the, the point of disagreement was. I thought I was talking about a story about culture and you thought it was about something else. Because whenever you go answer type to answer type, you know, it's, uh, sometimes it can be like ships passing in the night. You know, they, they, we think we're talking about the same thing, but we're not. So it's this movement and dynamism that's particularly important. Um, but that, that, I guess I'm, I'm bringing it up to punctuate it because even if people are open-minded, you know, we're, we're, we're we're closed off by our own views in ways we can't realize. So you want to, you know, encourage the movement to different questions or answer types to, to stimulate that conversation, which ultimately is about, you know, answer, asking, answering all the different questions is, is a movement towards the most genuine sort of co-creation and, and development. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from The Leadership Project, where we empower leaders with the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're enjoying our content, please do remember to hit like, subscribe, and that little notification bell so that you can be notified of all of our future videos. In the meantime, please do take care, look out for each other, and join us on this journey as we learn together and lead together.